Hi, I'm Michelle Fox, and what I would like to talk about today is how to sell what is on your shelf. Might sound kind of obvious. We always want to sell. That's what we do. But I mean how to sell specifically what you already have in stock. There are certain times when that is especially important, and I want to give you some strategies and ideas of how to do exactly that. So what am I talking about? <laughs> what I'm talking about is, let's say you want to have a thousand dollar day. You want to have cash for an emergency. You need cash for something unexpected and you just want it to have, you want to sell the products that you already have. You don't want to have to wait for an order to come in. Or you've got a lot of previous limited edition products on hand that you want to move or you found out that something has been discontinued that you have quite a bit of, that you had no idea it was going to be discontinued, and you find yourself with quite a glut of them, and you think, okay, I need to move this off my shelf. Um, you might realize that you've got some things that you ordered back when you first started, assuming that it would be something that would be a, a good seller, and you realize, gosh, I've never sold that. I need to move this off my shelf before it expires. A lot of times people that are brand new, they come in, they make a big investment initially with their inventory and they feel like, okay, uh, I kind of don't want to place any more orders. My money is already tied up. I just need to sell what I've got. I Can you feel me? So there are different situations where you just want to move what you already have. And I'm the master at that, <laughs> if I do say so myself. So before I go there, though, I do want to mention, especially to new people, that your product has a three-year shelf life. And I know that it can start to feel overwhelming and kind of panicky, like, oh my gosh, you know, I, I got all this stuff. I thought for sure that this and this would sell and it's just sitting there. You know, I've got four of them and that just seems like so many. But in three years time between selling and frankly swapping with another consultant or using it as a door prize, you'll be okay. Okay. It's very rarely is anything as urgent as you think it is. And you also always have, if you're within that first year of Mary Kay, you've got the 90% buyback guarantee to fall back on. And if you don't know what that's about, you can talk to your recruiter or director. But Basically, within your first year of Mary Kay, should you decide that it's absolutely positively not for you, the company will buy back your Section 1 items. That means the inventory that you intend to sell to the public, they will buy it back and give you 90% of what you paid for it within your first year if you decide that you don't want to do Mary Kay. So there's really very little risk involved when it comes to inventory. So keep that in mind. But anyway, so let's talk about, let's say you've got things on your shelf that you want to move. What are some creative ways to just get it happening like right now? I'm going to give you 10, 10, <laughs> and I got pretty nails, <laughs> 10 ways to move things that are on your shelf quickly. All right. The first way is to have a special offer directed at a specific person. A special offer directed at a specific person or a couple of people. So here's what I mean by that. Let's say that you keep a mask on your shelf, the botanical effects scrub, for one person. You've got one customer that actually uses that. She hasn't bought it in a long time, but she's the reason why you keep that mask on, on hand or that scrub. You can actually contact her, send her a text or an email, uh, just saying, great news, thought I'd let you know or let you, have you be the first to know that company's having a special on your scrub this month, buy one, get one half price. Have it be a special that is from 
the company, uh, a special offer, something that's not necessarily where you're saying, hey, I've got a couple of these on my shelf, so I thought I would give it to you half price. Not that. That's that's boring and just kind of weird. But have it be something exciting where she feels like it's it's truly a special opportunity. So imagine that being you, that there is a product that you particularly like and you get a message like, hey, heads up, you know, that product is buy one, get one half price this month only. Wink, wink. Just thought I'd let you know because you're my favorite customer. She feels blessed that you remembered her, that you remembered that that's her favorite product. And do you think she's going to reply to that? She probably will. And even if she doesn't make that purchase, you've made that connection with her. You've let her know that you remember her and that she's special to you. But a lot of times you will move that product, all right? So you might think, well, that's just one product. But sometimes that's the one. Like there might be just a product that's been sitting there a minute and you feel like, okay, I bought that for so-and-so and she hasn't gotten it. And it's gonna, you know, it's been on my shelf for almost a year. So what's the deal? In those cases, I will create a special offer for that person that I bought it for, okay? But I don't let her know that I did it like that. You follow me? You know, I'm more like, hey, just letting you know, there is there is a special this month, okay? There's a difference in how you say it. So that's the first one. Special offer directed to a particular person that you happen to know likes that product, okay? Second one, demonstrate a look or demonstrate a product through a video. If you're afraid to go live, just, you know, tape it, videotape it or whatever they call it and post that video. But live is always better. So I had a couple of eye colors that I had never, ever sold. And I demoed some fall eye color looks. I did a different look each week for four weeks. And there were um, uh, some colors in there that I hadn't ever sold. Gold Status, Merlot, and Onyx. They weren't all in the same week, but they were, you know, different weeks. And ever since I did demo those looks, I cannot keep those colors in stock. It's crazy. Prior to that, never sold them. Never, ever. Demoed them. They sell regularly. Because people can go back and watch your video over and over and over. New people join your group. They can watch that video. Video lasts forever. So demo something. If you're thinking, okay, I have got so many lip glosses, but the only one that really sells, you know, is this one. Well, then demo the other ones. Show, do something where you're showing them what all the rest of the, you know, some of the other shades look like. People, the eye buys. So when they see what it looks like, they're like, oh, I like that. You know, I'm, I'll try that. You don't even necessarily have to make put it on special. You're just showing them what it looks like and they will, it will pique their interest, okay? So the second one is to demo, demo, demo a look, demo a product, charcoal mask, something visual. People love that. All right, the third one, have a product of the week. You could do it every week for a month, but let's say you've got a couple of Skin Vigorate Sonic sets that you want to move. Week number one, product of the week, Skin Vigorate Sonic Skincare System, day one. Uh, I would post a video maybe from the company, like they have their videos that we, that are shareable. So, and they're, they're really nice. They're professionally made. They've got, you know, fun music in the background and stuff. So day one, you're just showing a video. Maybe day two, find something on the internet about, you know, why a sonic vibration is cleans more effectively than like the, the rotating brush or something. Um, you know, post that as information and then later in the day, go live and just say, Hey, did you catch that? You know, I just wanted you to know that the reason why we updated it from this kind of a brush to this is because blah, blah, blah. Isn't that interesting? Have any of you tried it? Day three, come on and, and show some pictures of it and maybe post a special, buy the set, get the re refill brushes free or something. Day four, um, Come on, and anybody that has commented or liked or anything like that, kind of, you know, get a sense of, are these people that have already bought the skincare or not? Let's say you've got some people commenting on it, 
And for the most part, it's people that have not ever purchased skincare. Well, they can't really get the skin invigorate without getting skincare. <laughs> okay, so maybe day four would be something like um, purchase the skin invigorate set, get a free um, what like a mini skincare. You know, the week the um, the travel size miracle set or the travel size clear proof or something like that. You're so the whole week, every day, you're doing a little something different. You're not really cramming it down their throat because some some days are just information, like the difference between sonic and vibration, or sonic and rotating, or whatever. Sometimes you're going live. Sometimes you're showing pictures. Sometimes it's a video. So it's the, it's kind of a combination of entertainment information and you're giving them you know the hook is that they're getting um either some kind of freebie or a discount or something but it's like you're showcasing that product that week and if you make it like you know so for the month of february we're going to have um, a product of the week every week then they know that that's what's happening and so it doesn't feel quite as spammy you know it doesn't feel salesy because it feels like oh so february must be product showcase month <laughs> you know what i mean so they're expecting it so first one special offer directed to a you know particular person second one is to demo something physically demo a look demo a product third one is to do a product of the week special fourth one is to do a photo album pop-up sale photo album pop-up sale i do this all the time so you create a photo album in your group and you take pictures don't just use the company photos that you get or or do or something from a google search or whatever actually take photos of the products that you want to move so i do this a lot with limited edition things so things that i have left over from the holidays or something i'll take pictures of them and i'll create a photo album and i'll call it um you know pink pop-up sale whatever and when you create an album then that is shown as a post and um then just say you know pink pop-up sale you'll be able to make a a, a statement or a comment or something when it when it posts in your group you know you'll be able to say something pink pop-up sale through the end of the month or through the end of the week however long you want um all items priced as marked when they're gone they're gone you know something to let them know that that this is fast that it's you know when it's over it's it's over and then for each picture you know i would say um okay so let's see um lotion and lip balm set originally 18 dollars now only 1050 two available next picture you know blah 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 originally this now only one available and then what's fun about that is that let's say somebody contacts you and they want the thing that you only had one of then i will um edit that picture and i'll put like a big red sold across the picture and when you update anything in your album when you update anything on facebook it shows up as a post so when you update that picture with the new picture that has sold across it, then everybody in your group is going to see that in their feed, like, oh, that thing sold. So maybe they didn't see the first time around that you had that pink pop-up sale, but all of a sudden they see something with the big sold sign across it. And they're like, wait, what, what, what's going on? There's some kind of sale. And so then they go back through the feed to see what's going on. And then they, oh, wait, there's a pink pop-up sale. Let me look through this. And so one way or another, either when you post the album or as you adjust the pictures as they sell, something is going to trigger people to go back and look at the, the sale, to go back and look at the album and see what's still left. You follow me? So, um, and then I always thank the people as they buy it. That's another way to kind of trigger so that people see that there's activity and then they come back to see what's going on. So a photo album pop-up sale okay that's another way something that i've always always done is i have a really pretty basket you can get it get a basket anywhere like dollar tree or something but just a, a, an attractive basket and put the smaller items in there that maybe are previous limited edition or um, discontinued but things that sell easily because they're pretty and they're visual so like little um 
uh, nail colors, lip glosses. I take them out of the box so you can see what color they are and have it just a cute little basket so that when people come to my house to pick up their order, when they come to my door, there's a ledge right as they walk in and I have the basket there with the stuff. So they come to my door, I welcome them. Then I'm like, oh, just a minute, let me go get your, your stuff. Well, I'm going to my office to retrieve their bag. They're like, oh, you know, they can't help themselves, but look through that little basket of goodies. And then I come out and they say, is this stuff on sale? Oh yeah, sure, that's my discount basket. Oh, well, how much is this? How much is this? And you can make up the price as you go. You know, sometimes if I see that they're interested in a whole lot of stuff, I'll give them a really good deal. If they just pull out one thing, you know, I'll just take a dollar or two off. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, it, you're the boss, man. So I just put it in there. I don't put a price on it. I just kind of, you know, I, I go by the, by the seat of my pants, like whatever. And then um, if I am getting my hair done or something, and like I'm very close to the girls at my hair salon, so I'll just grab that basket and take it with me. And while I'm waiting for, to get my hair done, you know, they're pawing through that and, and buying stuff out of that basket as well. So the thing there is that it's stuff that is easy to, you know, go through and that it's visual and usually kind of smallish, just cash and carry. And um, if it's something that, like, let's say, so we've got Valentine's Day coming up. If it would benefit from being in a cute cello bag with like a ribbon, you know, that's great. But for me, I usually just put it just right in the basket as is, out of the box, Legally, we have to sell things with the box because that's where the ingredients are listed. So I usually have the box available. But whenever I say, you know, would you like the box? People say no. So that's just like a, a legal caveat is that we have to offer that. But um, people don't usually want it. Okay. So a little basket of goodies. Um, another thing is that keep in mind, you can have an open house online or in person anytime. It doesn't have to be just during the Christmas holidays. You can have a winter open house. You can have a spring open house. You can have, a, you know, a summer open house, you know. Ha, ha. Uh, but truly, you can make any kind of theme that you want or holiday. So a Valentine's Day open house or back to school or just you name it. But um, all an open house really is, is uh, you are coming up with an attractive way of showing your products maybe some gift ideas, discounts. And if you uh, don't want to do it physically in your own home, then just, again, you just take pictures or go live. I usually have a long table and I set it all up, you know, in a really attractive way. And I do both. I go live and I invite people to my home. But it, again, the eye buys. It can be the same stuff that people have seen. They've seen in the catalog. They've heard me talk about. But when they see it in a cute little crate along with a little sponge and a washcloth they're like oh my gosh that's so cute I can't live without it <laughs> so have an, an open house any time of year uh, okay another idea is to use a product that's been around a minute as a freebie um, so have a win it Wednesday come up with some kind of um, quiz or game or even just a you know, put your name in a hat and somebody's going to win this. So let's say it's the Sunless Tanner. Um, you know, so, spring break is coming up and I want you to look your best. I'm going to give away the Sunless Tanner and to have your name in the drawing, you know, and then you decide what you want them to do to have their name in the drawing. But that is helping in a lot of different ways. Let's say you've only got one of them. You just want to get it off your shelf. But you are getting some engagement then on your Facebook group. So people are, um, you know, they're getting excited. They feel like there's a, it's, there's a benefit of being part of your group. There's a possibility of getting a freebie. You could even spend a little bit of time talking about the benefits of the selfless tanner so that perhaps uh, you will not only give away that one, but you might end up selling a couple more, having to get a couple from a friend. You know, you've only got one to give away and you end up needing to borrow a couple from a, a friend because you, you know, sold more than that. So, okay, let's see. Special offer directed to one person. Demo a look. Product of the week. 
photo album pop-up sale, basket by your front door, anytime open house, freebie like a win at Wednesday. Another one that uh, is so easy and it's so popular and I always sell is my favorite products. I do a short live video. My five favorite products and I just have them you know, right with me. And I just hold it up and talk about it and have them be five products that, that you don't typically talk about or that people don't typically purchase or know about that aren't usually focused on. So things like extra emollient night cream or the hand cream or the micellar water, things that have you know really cool benefits that you can talk about and romance, but that not everybody knows that we even carry. And so you can say, you know, this is the best hand cream on the market. I can put it on. And then as soon as I rub it in, you know, I can, you know, drive or write or whatever because my hands are not sticky or greasy or slimy, you know, it just absorbs so quickly. Extra emollient night cream. I use it for, you know, so many different things, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And you're just kind of holding them up and talking about them and saying how much you love them and why. And it's short and sweet and it's visual and done. And as soon, every time I do something like that, I sell, I sell all of those products. So look at what's on your shelf and pick a few that are, you know, kind of unusual that people might not know about or hear about very often and just explain, you know, what you love about them. And if you don't know, it's because you haven't used them. So use them. <laughs> you'll, you'll figure it out. Okay. Two more left. Um, the ever popular buy one, get one. So, you know, buy one, get one half price, buy two, get one free, buy three, get one free, whatever, you know, however many you have. So let's say you've got tons of eye colors or something, something that is an affordable, um, price. What I do a lot with the eye colors is if you buy four eye colors, then they get the petite palette as a free gift. So you could do something like that. The True Dimensions lipsticks have been discontinued. So you could do something like that. Um, buy two True Dimensions, get a half price lip gloss or whatever. I mean, you can you get to make it up uh, based on what you have that's going to help you thin out your inventory. So you totally make, make that up. It doesn't have to be a, you know, buy one, get one free. It can be a buy, you know, buy two, buy three, whatever it is, and then get it half price. Think about how much you're giving away because whatever you give away that's coming out of your profit, your cost stays the same always. So anything that you ever give away is coming out of your profit always. Uh, and then the last one is just to choose something and use it as a, a hostess offer. So let's say you've got a travel roll-up bag that is no longer in style. I think I've got three different patterns of, of travel roll-up bags right now. So let's say I choose one and I say um, my high hostess of the month is going to get this no longer available, exclusive pattern, retired pattern, you know, however you want to say it. Uh, or it could be, um, if not high hostess, it could even, if you're having a hard time getting any hostesses at all, you could say, you know, my next three hostesses are each going to get a travel roll-up bag in addition to their, uh, you know, regular hostess credit. And um, again, romance the bag, talk about its benefits, show it, do a video on it. If, if you're not comfortable doing a video, then post some pictures of it and talk about all the different things you can do with it. Because meanwhile, you're not only going to probably book parties with that, you'll probably end up selling a travel roll-up bag or two because people will be like, oh yeah, I always forget about that, but that's really cool. I should probably get one of those. So hopefully <laughs> it's one of those trips your trigger. So, all right, let's go again. Special offer directed to a particular person. Does that make sense? So like you bought the men's skincare because you've got one woman that buys it for her husband. Call her up, let her know that there's a special on men's skincare this month and you just wanted her to know. 
demo a look. You've got certain uh, cheek color that has, nobody ever buys the, the orangey colored cheek colors. And so you do a demonstration and you show, you know, maybe pinks on this side and oranges on this on this side. And you talk about how, how people can wear either, either shade, warm or cool, and how different times of year you can wear different shades, whatever. Um, product of the week, you can, uh, have, take one month and say every week we're going to have a showcase product of the week and we're going to have videos. There's wonderful videos that you can find on Mary Kay in touch photo album, pop-up sale. You create a photo album. Keep in mind, every time that you adjust or comment anything in that photo album is going to be another fresh post. So people are going to be constantly redirected to look at that like oh what's happening oh gosh wow there's a sale going on oh who bought who bought what what's happening so that's a really good way to draw them in a basket by your front door and on the go basket something that is very visual things that are easy cash and carry have an open house any time of the year create any kind of theme for a holiday a season for any any reason <laughs> Um, ha use it as a freebie, like a Win It Wednesday giveaway. Romance the product. Romance the idea of um, participation in the group. You're accomplishing all kinds of stuff that way. Do a My 5 Favorite Products video. Or again, if you can't make yourself do that, you could just do pictures of them. But video trumps anything else. Do a buy one, get one. Buy two, get one half price. Whatever you want to do, whatever products you want to move. And finally, use it as a hostess special, a hostess, um, a hostess uh, incentive. So lots and lots and lots of ways to get people interested in what you already have on your shelf. And they don't all necessarily require you to market way down. I think sometimes we think to move things, we have to like sell it at cost and that's just silly. Uh, mostly it's a matter of letting people understand what the benefit of that product is. People don't always know. They haven't seen it. If, if uh, we don't tell them about it, if we don't show them what it does and explain the benefits, explain how it's going to meet a need or solve a problem, they don't know they need it or want it. So that's our job. So the more ways that you can think of how to draw their attention in a fun way and show them these products and what they do, the more likely you're going to sell them. So have fun with it and you will see a lot of cash coming in and products going out. And then you make a decision whether that's something that you need to restock or not. So if it was limited edition, discontinued, obviously not. If it's something that's been sitting around for a long time and you finally sell it, I would not restock it. You can always get it later. But if it's something like my solar water that you, you know, sold a whole bunch of, then yeah, go ahead and restock it because that's something that is a regular, a regular item. So hopefully um, you got some takeaways from that. <laughs> If you did, comment and let me know what you're going to try. Or if you've got some other suggestions, you could comment and let us know some other ideas of how to move what we already have. Because I know a lot of us are in that situation where we just feel like, ah, I just don't want to order again. I just want to move what I've got. So let's go for it and make some money. All right, ladies. So thanks for your time and I will see you next week.